So my name is Jason Fouts. I'm the founder of the company Slackline Technology. Um, today we're here at the Smith Rock Highline Gathering. It started off as a group of friends. Um, Brian Mosbaugh was a guy um, that really originated the event. He started it off. He was one of the, the core Highliners back in the day, five, six years ago really starting to establish a lot of the stuff in the park and really kind of generate buzz around the scene. Um, he's since kind of taken off and is traveling around the world doing photography stuff for slack finders, base jumpers, all sorts of fun sports and activities. And it's kind of passed the torch on to the next crowd that's come that has come in. And fortunately, I've been able to be a part of that crowd. Close to 60 people here, if not more than that, from all different areas of the country, some from Canada. Um, so it's a really, it's a really fun event for our local community and it brings us all together to to make slack lines, party together, and just hang out and share and be a community, essentially. So typically we try to make it a three-day event. Um, we rig lines anywhere from 40 feet long to the big one over here, it's 380 feet long. You know, we really come together and people bring their own personal gear to rig and have everybody kind of take tries. And a lot of people are new, so they haven't done stuff, so they might be more apt to, to get on the beginner stuff. And then we have some people that have been doing it for years and years and years and are incredibly talented and can walk some of these, these monster lines that we put up here. Um, so over the over the three days that we have the event, typically in the fall, um, we just try to rig as many lines as possible and get as many people involved as we can just to kind of share the stoke, essentially. I was, a, I was a climber for eight, nine years before I started highlining and was really into you know a lot of the old school history, both in Yosemite and here in Smith Rock. So learning about all the establishment that the early guys did, like Alan Watts and you know, some of the people from Europe and just kind of that whole influence, you know, we feel that that sort of, that scenario is almost happening here as well, where it's like still a small core of people, but then all of a sudden we have the influx, like for example with the festival, so then the, the knowledge and the practice is slowly getting out there and like commu the community's building. Like, we're not necessarily the only people using this park, you know, there's climbers, there's hikers, there's mountain bikers, you know, we're not the only ones here. So we, we want to be able to practice what we're doing, but at the same time, we don't want to you know, step on other people's toes. It's it's a really cool time because of that because we're starting to we're starting to get all those participation numbers, the interest. It's like all right, now let's let's start bringing this thing a little bit more legitimate with the park. Um, yeah.